Welcome back to Thief, the Metal Age. And I hope you're ready to do the most thief-like thing you could possibly do in a thief game. Break into a bank. That's what we're gonna do. Let's go. First of all, what should we take? Um, probably some flash bombs in case I get, and in case I run into a guard. Some moss arrows will definitely be useful, as well as water arrows as much as possible. Oh, well, that is see, that seems perfect to me. Just four cash left. I think that's pretty much yeah, as much as I can possibly buy with this. I'm okay with this. Should be fine. Lots of water arrows. What have we already with us? Noisemaker. Rodent arrow, rope arrow, safety deposit box key. That's uh, what we have to uh, what we have to um, use. <coughs> Remember last episode we we made a, a wax um, copy of this key. Fire arrow. Yeah, let's go. Um, I can already tell you this is probably going to be a long mission with um lots of episodes. At least I I. Don't I assume it is, because look at this, um, this is a big place. Here's the floor one, it has a vault, this is where we want to go. Dome, remember, we need to get inside the bank, bring in the hall of records and learn the number of the safety deposit box in which the mechanist stored the recording and then we steal a recording from the vault. So uh, this is where we have to go. There's a guard room, great hall, basement, basement, meeting hall. And lots of other rooms as well. Lobby. Meeting. There's the Hall of Records. Which. And Hall of Statues. Okay. That means. I think I started somewhere here. Because this round thing here. And you can also see that. Just by looking at the whole. Um, like, that's the front gate. Obviously. So that would be here. Now, since the map, let's 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 play this mission as intelligently as possible. So, first of all, let's think about where we have to go first before we can go to the vault, which I'm sure will have all kinds of contraptions anyway. We can just go then open it. But even before we try to find out how to open that one, we need to get to the Hall of Records. That is in the east side of the building. So, starting here doesn't really make sense to go all the way here and even if there is an entry point here and I can already tell you there are several um, we would have to go all the way through the entire building to get here so the more intelligent thing to do is go this way which I'm doing right now and see if we can find an entry point somewhere here that sounds better doesn't it um, let me ch quickly check if I'm really recording as I mentioned before I'm always paranoid that I forgot to hit it or something yeah I'm recording perfect um, <clears throat> what else? Um, Hall of Statues is probably not interesting right now. Um, do I have to recap anything that happened last time? Uh, Sheriff Truard met with Karas. We learned that Truard is going to provide Karas with, um, like, subjects. Because Karas seems to be producing what he called servants. Who seem to be, have been people who are now, like, kind of mind controlled. And he can even use them as a weapon. Sheriff Truett was very impressed and is going to arrest random people on the streets that nobody is going to miss for fall. Just invent some some uh, charges and give them to Karas. Karas recorded that conversation and now and said that he might use it to like blackmail Truett in helping him further. And we overheard all of that, stole the key to the vault in which the recording is and are going to steal it now to use it for ourselves just a quick recap for you in case it was necessary I mean, it's been a while hasn't it oh shit there are guards oh, but they're going the other way that's fine then unless they suddenly turn around but I hope they don't Can I actually knock all of them out <coughs> <laughs> well, that looked kind of stupid, didn't it? So I'm going to hide.
hit them. It's probably not necessary, but you never know. There might be somebody who occasionally goes uh, to walk on that balcony, and we wouldn't want him to see three, like, seemingly dead guards. They're not dead, but how would he know? He would see them and would be like, Oh, murder! Shit! Alarm! And I don't want that. Okay. I think this is actually one of the entry points as well. Yeah, it's... There's a door, and it's not locked. Some guard probably forgot, because every other door is locked. But I don't want to use that one, as I mentioned before. I want to go all the way as far as possible, so that we are close to the Hall of Records already. I want to do this methodically. And I will also try to take more time with the guards this time, so I don't keep running into everybody. And there we go, we have a window that we can open. really dark here. Can I... oh... I do this a bit? Yeah, the recording is not really picking up on that. Still. And it's gotten worse somehow. So I'll have to adjust it afterwards. I hope I manage to... Listen to this. Really like the sound here. That's pretty cool. This, this windy kind of sound. I don't even know, like, how would you describe it? I guess windy. Just listening to this is... Like this. Anyway, what does the compass say? So... Okay, north is there. I suppose... There's no basement map? No, there's not. But... That was the balcony, wasn't it? So I'm probably somewhere here. So I would still need to go a bit north. What is this? This is... This is the basement. The basement is probably, as far as I remember... Is, yeah, as far as I remember, the basement is going to be important for us as well, but not... Not now, I think. Is this also the basement? No, okay, this, this leads upstairs. Because that's what we need right now. We need to go upstairs and then north. Oh, that music. Quick. Light is turned off. Good start. Listen to that. Oh, that is creepy as fuck. Loving it. Somebody walking. <laughs> okay, I almost wanted to knock him out, but there's something I noticed. Do you hear this? There. It's a camera. Hmm. Okay. First of all... Can I make it to the door? And stand here? Okay. Where is this lead? Okay, that's the guy who was walking earlier. This might be in might be better to knock him out first. I actually wanted to start to use something that I haven't used so far. I think he's going to come this way again. I wanted to start using something that I haven't used before. <coughs> Mainly because it was kind of a spoiler, but now it's not anymore. Um, it's the scouting orb. I will show you, I will save and then I will show you what it does. See? 
you can throw it and then you can look through it. And why is that kind of a spoiler? Because it is... Uh, if, if you see this, you would start to ask yourself, how the fuck does that work? And the way it does work is... Ah, oh, perfect, you can pick it, up, pick it up again, that's what I was wondering. And the way it does work, it's connected to Garrett's eye. To Garrett's mechanical eye, which we saw him take out and put in in one of the cutscenes that we had recently. So I wanted to wait until we had that cutscene before I start using this. Because now that we had the cutscene and you know that he has a mechanical eye, I can explain it to you. Before, I didn't want to spoil you what happened with his eye. I mean, it's not a big spoiler or anything, but uh, still. I wanted you to learn that through the cutscene. And I want to go north. Should be this way. Okay, quick. Before anybody comes. open the map again just so you can see where we are I mean I want you to be able to follow where I'm going also I, I myself need to be able to to see where I'm going because I don't know this shit by heart um, so this was the basement I think we came upstairs from the basement here this was the room with the camera I went here knocked out the guy went here and now I'm in here so for the Hall of Records I need to go upstairs that means if I, once I go back out here, I should stick to going north after walking down this hallway. But I also want to check out this room, of course, and maybe this one. Meeting hall. Yeah, maybe two. Let's see. First, let's check out this room. What the... Is that guy pulling fucking organ blood stuff out of the other guy? Or is it just like... Is it just uh, cloth? I am, I'm actually not entirely sure. It kind of looks like he's skinning the fucking leg of, of the other guy. It would explain his fucking distorted expression. But then what the fuck are these guys doing? Just like like casually sitting there having a nice talk about... Oh, do you see how he's ripping the guy apart? It's very interesting, isn't it? <sighs> okay, point is who the fuck hangs that up in his in his office? Not me. Oh. So, I mean, what is this? It's like the, the room of Chief Irons, if you happen to understand that reference. Anyway, let's open this. Some people in this city are too rich for their own good. Lucky they have me to give them a hand. <laughs> exactly. Let's grab some more. Music. I'm not complaining, mind you. I'm, I'm just fascinated by it. Okay, two books. Address to Devil, written by Flemian. Let's see who this Flemian guy is. Or what he's writing about, I mean. <coughs> Devil. I'm sure you've heard the news that Tyler's physician... <coughs> sorry, physician... Let me start again. Devil, I'm sure you've heard the news that Tyler's physician diagnosed his ailment as fatal, predicting not more than three months of life remaining. The question on both of our minds is surely the same. Who shall we place him as master banker? Oh, that's what, that's what this is about. In, in this kind of city that the game is set in, filled with, like, corruption and darkness, generally, I mean... Nothing in this city has been very innocent, right? The Hammerites, um, who build, basically build stuff, are not exactly the nice kind of builders. The pagans, who basically worship nature, do not worship the nice kind of nature. Nothing in this city is really innocent. And so that's pretty much what I was expecting already when I entered the bank, to read something like this, of some intrigues and plotting behind like some power struggle of, of the, the employees, everybody trying to just look out for themselves and trying to get rise to power, stuff like that. That's what I was expecting, and I think this is what, that's what this is about. 
uh, so again Tyler's physician Tyler seems to be the or have been the master banker we don't know if he's still alive but he has or had a fatal ailment apparently and devil and Flemian are apparently yeah musing about who shall replace him as master banker and perhaps you have come to the same conclusion that his nephew Mauro will have unfair precedent over us for that position Tyler has a nephew called Mauro who probably will get or already got the master banker position just because of family ties and they both don't seem to be very happy with it for the better of first city bank and trust and our own wallets I suggest that we somehow eliminate Mauro as competition then between the two of us may the best banker be selected perhaps we can slander his good name in some way what are your thoughts Flemian okay Fleming, you're an asshole, and I don't know about Devil yet. This is not really important for the main story of the game, mind you. It's just, I think I've mentioned this before, it's just like the kind of passive storytelling that I kind of like in this game, where you just, like, in, in almost every level you just have some kind of story that you don't see in cutscenes or in anything else, you just kind of read documents and put together the pieces I like that okay Flemian again writing to devil again devil you are quite shrewd my good colleague one item your scheme did not cover which of us shall replace Mauro as master banker oh so this is after the other one that we just read which means that this Tyler guy is already dead and then this Mauro guy took over as master banker and apparently devil had some kind of scheme that caused Moro to be slendered so much or whatever that he was indeed let go and now the question is which of us shall replace Moro as master banker with this I have an intriguing answer one that guarantees an increase in pay for us both we make a pact now that no matter which of us is selected as master banker by the plan you outlined we combine our mutual salaries after the promotion and each gets an equal share by my calculations, this will leave us both with over twice what we are now earning. What say you, sir? Flemian. You assholes. Is what I say. So that was Flemian's office. Okay. I, I got stuck in the door. Nobody's coming. Oh shit. That, oh yeah, that leads back there. But there's another room. Over here. And you ever door. wonder looking at all this? Wonder what? Well, where all the money for the fancy marble and, and the carvings and the art comes from? From all the people who give the bank their money. No, no, no. If the bank spends it on fancy stuff, what if they want it back? <laughs> well, maybe some of them die first and never ask for it back. Well, could be. I keep my gold home locked up myself. Safer that way. Yeah, I suppose this bank works with interest and that kind of stuff, but I suppose they don't know anything about that. Quick. Mm -hmm. That's a nicer picture than before. Although... Um, <laughs> she has a weird expression. She doesn't look very happy, does she? And the children seem to be... I don't know, what is she walking upon? What is she walking on? Well, still better than the other guy being like fucking... skinned alive or something. And I will take this, thank you very much. Is there anything else in there? Shit, I don't want to be too loud. Oh, I mean, this is probably here for a reason. Let's use it. Nice. Let's 
listen to the door. Somebody coming. Okay, he's gone. But where did he go? Did he go here? <gasps> yeah, probably. And he's coming back. That's very useful, unless, of course, he turns left. Please turn right. Yes. <coughs> It's a very bright room, but uh, usually no guard is coming in here, so that should be fine. Okay, so we are here now. We want to get upstairs. We could use the stairs here. Uh, but first I want to have a look at the meeting hall. I like the window. Looks cool. Move there. Nope. No. No. Mm-mm. Oh, nothing. Look at this. Too tense. There's a lot of wood here. That should be very useful. I mean, we have rope arrows. We could probably use a rope arrow to get up here and enter the meeting, uh, the the hall of records that way. See this round thing here? I think that's that thing. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? Gotta be careful. That's one of these machines. You probably remember there was a big one at the uh, in the last mission. This is a small one. Oh shit! Oh, it's upstairs. Okay, the big ones actually shoot bombs at you, often killing you instantly or very quickly. This small one does not do anything by itself, but it runs off to alarm its big brothers, so to speak, and you don't want that. Let's see if we can take it out. possible without being seen, but it's not that easy, actually. It has a very mean route. No. Yes! Got it. This wine is not worth anything. Anything here? Can really hardly see anything. I think not. Let's go back quietly, slowly. Okay. Now, anything on the table? Not really. Anything in the trash can? No. Take a rope arrow then. Try to get up there. Let's just hope the guard is not. Speaking of the devil, that guard, but that's actually good. If he's coming right now, we can wait until he left and then go. Because I think he's going in circles up there, so the fact that he just went there means he's gonna take a while before he comes back. So we can use that to, to uh, yeah, miss the rope. Great. Come on. What are you doing? Dude. I think it's, yeah, finally, man. <gasps> Perfect. Oh, shit. So good. Maybe. Oh yeah, that creates creates nice shadows. Do you see this creepy face thing on the ground? 
it also shoots bombs at you once the camera raises an alarm let's try to prevent that so I'm gonna get this okay I'm standing right below it so it cannot see me let's go stop that music together with these creepy golden faces now to find some useful information. We're in. Made it. To the Hall of Records. But we still need to find... The records that tell us... Um, not the record that we're trying to steal, but like the, the records, the book, or some kind of document that tells us which vault, like which deposit box in the vault belongs to the mechanists. It seems this room is empty in, in terms of guards. There's nobody here. The floor is very loud. <coughs> so let's use the bookshelves. <gasps> That's better. Anything over there? I don't want to jump on that very loud floor if there's nothing there anyway. Could use the ladder. see anything anyway. Okay. <gasps> I <gasps> too far, fuck. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, nobody heard it, I think. Or... No, I'm fine. <sighs> that was nice. That's gotta be it. I mean, it's the only document I can see here. Client box number Lot Signoli 7 TM Gilver Exporting 8 The Widow's Hospice 9 Mechanist Secondary Finance Box 10 Mechanist Storage Box This is what we're looking for 11 So let's remember the number in 11 Sergeant Bander <coughs> Lady Shemanoff and Salem Tour I have no idea who that is But Bing Bong Made it 11 Let's Put it on the map I really like this function that you can write stuff on the map, so so why not use it? We have the scroll, of course. I could throw it away if I wanted to. Anything here? <gasps> Other than that, it's kind of creepy dark corner. Especially with the music getting louder. But no, nothing there. I don't have that much time for recording today, um, so I am actually going to make, not, not record this in one go, but actually I'm going to make several sessions again. Um, I should start doing that again in general, because then um, if I record everything in one go, I always have to wait for the weekend to be able to even do that. But if I record smaller sessions, I can do that during the week as well. Um, so, yeah. What I'm getting at is that this might be a good place to stop for now. We have so far had very nice, uh, yeah, a very nice beginning here. Managed to break in easily. Use the strategically best entrance point managed to immediately find the Hall of Records and I got a few guards as well without even being spotted so far and I think the next target <coughs> next thing that we should uh, think about is how are we going to get to the vault from here because that's at the other side of the building one idea if we want to make it easy is of course to just go back to the basement walk all the way around here and find another entrance point that's possible, yeah, but uh, it's also kind of boring. I mean, we want to see a little bit of this place, don't we? Um, this is another way to the basement. I wonder what these rooms are. Mm -hmm. I haven't decided yet. I think the Great Hall... No, no, that, that's the lobby is the one 
This is the lobby. I thought this was the entrance. This is the entrance. Great Hall. I don't remember from when I played this a long time ago what this is, but... Um... Mm -hmm. We are here. I guess we could just go to the Great Hall. <coughs> go here. Here. And then here. Or we could go through these rooms. Go here, and then here. That might be a more interesting way, because then we see a few more of these small rooms, which usually have interesting stuff in it. <coughs> I don't know if I'm going to show everything of this map, because um, I know that it is really heavily guarded, so it might be a pain in the ass to try to get everywhere. Um, but I think for next time, the plan will be to use the smaller rooms. That's usually also easier to not get detected. Great hall and these huge things that's generally not 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 the best way because yeah in big rooms you often you have a loud floor and you have several guards in smaller rooms it's usually easier to to get an overview of the room and knock out some guards so I think that's what we're gonna do next time we're going to try to find a way through these smaller rooms and try to secure a route to the vault like next time I remember that the vault is not immediately openable I do remember that you need to get there and find out that you have to do something in order to open it but let's take it one step one at a time <coughs> and yeah next time let's secure a route to the vault and continue our absolutely thief-like breaking into and robbing the first city bank and trust. I'll see you there.